All right, guys. So if you thought we are done with the farm, uh, we are not yet because um, farm has a purpose. You should be able to get user feedback, right? So if you're not getting it, what's the point? Now here, what I'm doing is I wrote about it uh, maybe uh, some time ago that how you can get farm input uh, from a custom farm instead of this ugly looking Google form, you can get it through just a link. Uh, I made a video on it and we are going to use that here. Okay? So it's going to be quite nice because we are doing it on a server file. We do get a feedback of whether the form submitted or not. So that's quite nice. Now, in order to do that, the first thing is you should have a form. So which is in line with what you have here. Okay, so let's uh, do that. Uh, so this would be name. And uh, next one is uh, email. So don't put any validation for this um, because we don't want to stop at any stage because we are already validating using uh, in, in the front end itself we are validating so don't put any uh, don't even click the required not not required okay so now our form is ready so we'll do something like uh, walk walkthrough form okay so that should be okay now Form is ready, so we also we are uh, gonna get pre-filled link. Okay, so in pre-filled link, what you do is we you enter a name, you enter uh, email hello at uh, com, and then you enter some message. Uh, this is uh, test. You get the link, you copy that. Now we'll come here. We will uh, put it somewhere. Maybe we want it here so instead of this console. Yeah, put here const uh, prefilled link equals. Should I put it like this? Maybe. Okay. Now here, uh, if you if you look at it carefully, so you will see there is uh, the name that I entered, email that I entered and also the message I entered, right? So we will have to replace that. A way to replace that is using uh, template literals here, and we can replace that with our value. So this would be name. We should use a, a dollar sign and uh, curly braces. This would be email. And uh, finally, this is message. okay so that's it our uh, pre-filled link is ready now we have to do it here nowhere else because it is uh, it has uh, passed all the tests if it fails it goes to the catch block here since after this uh, validate we are still here we have come here so which means you know our uh, name email and message are valid now once that happens so we'll do const uh, response equals await we just uh, make a get request to this but before that we'll have to make a few changes so that i have mentioned here a uh, few things we'll we'll do those uh where is it okay so slash view form should be slash form response so let's go and find it so here it is right so that we changed to slash form response okay and add at the end of the url okay so let's add this so also now that is ready so now we can do uh we can either make the user to redirect to this or just make a fetch request to prefill link okay now we can console the response let's see what happens okay contact form i enter my name my email and uh, this is test submit it's submitted okay let me go to the form okay so there is a response and there is what i entered i can also get this to a spreadsheet but 
I don't know if that's that is necessary. Once I host this site, I will make that public. So yeah, so let's enter something uh, something else now. Test commit. Let's go here. So it's already there. So yes, so this is quite useful. So you can get your responses directly to your email if you set this up properly. You can also get uh, emails. I mean, you will get emails, I think, if somebody has sent a response. So also after submission, if we check uh, our console here, the server console, we see that the status is 200, right? So here also, uh, you can check whether it is submitted or not. And based on that, you can uh, throw an error. They will go to the, you know, uh, so that they can go to this block, error block. Now that's something, you know, you can easily do. So what you do is if uh, res equals, sorry, res start, uh, I think it's status uh, 200, right? Is not equals right? 200 in such cases it means that you know form is not submitted so you do something like uh, you return something saying uh, google form form a valid form the form you know fields were valid but it did not go to google form else you can you know you will always go here to return statement so i, I you know it's, it's it's not quite necessary at this moment but if you want, you can have an extra check here so that you don't miss out on some kind of error. Someone someone might uh, get back to you saying, you know, I got this error uh, and maybe something is wrong with your form or maybe you're miss. I mean, you have deleted this form, you don't even know. So uh, these things happen. So it's better to have a check here and return a similar, you know, error saying, similar thing but the errors should have an error message saying uh the back end that there was something wrong with the server all right all right so that was it for this one so i'm gonna remove this so this is about how you can uh, you know get the response from someone to your google form if you have one all right guys that <laughs> finally finishes our contact form so it is a working form now so in the future videos, uh, you will see uh, more things added to this website. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.